Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is Emily from Vintage Polka Dot Shop. And today is the beginning of my big annual sale um, at VintagePolkaDotShop.com, um, which can lead you to my Etsy shop. And what I'm doing is 30% uh, off your total purchases of $35 or more. Um, just keep in mind that you need to look at the subtotal. Every once in a while people, you know, they look at the grand total and they see sales tax and then they're like, well, why isn't the discount working? So, um, no, it's off the subtotal. And of course, free shipping in the US and the sales only valid in the US because of the whole free shipping and just, it's, you know, I, did, I, I will ship international, people ask me, but it's so friggin' expensive that I, that usually it doesn't work out. Anyway, that's a story for another day. That's story time for another day. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I have listed or will be listing this weekend. Um, so I'll, I'll be real quick and I will put a link below. Um, okay, so sorry for all the ums. I just, this is early in the morning. All right, so first I put together some more. I had these last year in my shop and these are trims. Um, Christmas trims and fibers and I love how these look like tinsel aren't that, isn't that pretty so these are up there now and these are the whoop, samples that I are the you know what I have so kind of a Santa's coat kind of situation or candy cane and these are fun this one's fun because you could even use it into Valentine's Day and and I have a limited number of the ones with the silver and Quite a few of the one with the gold so there's that then i also finally i didn't realize it'd been so long um dyed and put together a whole bunch of lined index cards uh oh, i think there's 25 in a pack 24 in a pack i don't remember so those are currently in the shop and i haven't had those in a long time and then these are a very rare thing um, these are larger rolodex cards and those are currently in my shop too. These make great journaling cards or tuck spots. And I just love the how office-y that looks. So we got that. And here's another new thing. I have to open this. If I can figure it out. I did a pack here just for funsies. Um, so much fun to use in a journal. So you get 12 of these smaller ledger paper. And they're two-sided. Oh, sorry guys. I guess you could just see the back. And they have these great holes, which I just love. Um, and then, to go with it, you get 12 of this great green lined. So they're not day planner, but it's something from like that. Or it was like in a binder with all these holes. And nice and splotchy. So those are available. And they come... With the, I thought they'd be fun to have the little binder clips. I had quite a few of them just to kind of add that office -y theme. So those are in the shop right now. And then um, something I've never carried before. This is a little different. I <laughs> um, it's legal paper, legal size paper, and it's designed for a photocopier for contracts when you want uh, five parts. So you got the white, the yellow, the minty green, um, pink, and goldenrod. And I don't know if you can see how it's got like a little bit of purple. If you have them the right way and you sign, like you write on it, it will go through like, um, oh, someone help me out. What's that called? You know what I'm talking about for, anyway, I'm going to let it go because I can't reach that thought, that word in my brain. Um, but if you turn them the wrong way or spread them out, they don't seem to do that. I was playing around with it, um, maybe if you pressed really hard. So I want you to have that as a heads up. But I just thought what great fun colors, like in a golden book journal where you need something a little longer. Um, and these fun pastels. So these are already up in the shop. Uh, that in there. Oh, and they kind of have that office smell. I don't work in a office, so I find it very romantic. Okay, and then also only three packs of the legal size coffee to stain paper. So I wanted to put that up. I only have three. I don't have any more um, legal paper. So, and I don't know when I'm gonna get it again. I don't mean to cause like, a, oh no. Um, I just wanted to be clear. So if it sells out and you're going, 
uh, Emily, I want more. Well, <laughs> I don't know when I'll have more. I'm, I'm sorry. I, it's going to be a while before I have a chance to go find some more. So three packs, legal size, coffee dyed paper, already listed in the shop. And then I did this last year, and I think this last time I sold this paper, but maybe not. The great big, so you can't even feel it. See, it fills the whole screen. Um, it's I think it's called tabloid size, so it's basically two eight and a half by eleven papers. Um, and I've got like five packs of this up. Now this I have a lot more of the paper itself, so if you ever needed some um, and wanted a special order, just let me know. And I wanted to show you what kind of journal. Like I'm working on these, and I yeah I posted the video where I uh, made the covers for these oversized journals and they're really nice uh, for this and so in this journal as you can see like a piece of scrapbook paper this is bigger you know it's, it's bigger than 12 by 12 so what I did is I took some of this tabloid paper put a printable on it and glued it down and then see on the other side of the signature I glued a piece of um, scrapbook paper so you get like the pretty papers without having to sew or do anything like that it's also great because you know it fills it makes it so you have like a full size piece of paper in a larger journal I'm sorry this isn't really filling now part three of this series was supposed to go up on Tuesday on my YouTube channel and family things happened with my parents and I wasn't able to do it so I'm hoping to have time today to put it up and then Saturday um, put the video up that I've shot where I attach the signatures, but now you just got a little sneak peek. Oh, and then I wanted to show you on the legal, um, what that, this is what it can be like in a small, and now I did put legals in those bigger ones, but what it could be like in a smaller journal, see then you've got the fun flip out on, if I can find the other side, here. So you could do like one big flip out or a little flip out, and I love a flip out. I don't know, I love, like here's another one, and that's using the legal paper. So I'm a huge fan of that. I mean, that's half the fun of junk journals or all those little tucks and flip outs and, you know, secret little journaling spots. Okie dokie. Oh, I grabbed two of those. But, oh, well, here's another. And they're not all the pages aren't quite that splotchy. Like there's, so you'll get a nice pack. I tried to mix them up so you get, and there's two different styles of paper in that. Uh, you know, so you'll get some variety. Okay, things I haven't listed, but we'll hopefully have time to list tomorrow. Knock on wood. Okay, so I put together, this is really fun. I hardly ever do this, even though I collect sketchbooks. These are all from sketchbooks and drawing paper pads. Um, and I think there's like, I haven't written the listing yet, but I'm pretty sure there's 60 pages. So you get a couple of these really great big ones, which I also used in that those oversized journals, but great for cutting down too. And it just gives you a fun texture because it's a little different than copy paper. So like this is a newsprint um, pad like for charcoal, but it has a wonderful like almost blotter type texture or rough. I love it. And then so you get um, some smaller ones. This size, I just got this um, thing and I just dyed it all for the, these. It's this long skinny uh, paper and it's like a, almost like a, a light cardstock weight. Um, so you could put it in a journal and this part would be strong enough you could hang things from or use it to make ephemera. And then you've got like your eight and a half, you know, uh, size artist paper. There's some parchment in here for calligraphy. Some of them have perforated, you know, are perforated, so you don't have to have the holes. And then for fun, I actually, I don't usually do this, but I tore some of them out, and then you get the fun little texture. And the nice thing is if you don't like it, cut it off. Um, if you want to, I kind of like it. It's soft, I, you know, since it's dyed that way, it's all wrinkled. Couple sheets, not very many, of tracing paper. Um, and then it just kind of goes on from there. So you get the idea. There's a lot of variety of paper. So some with the holes. Here's another smaller size of the newsprint. I love how it took the coffee. Uh, let's see here. So there's quite a few of those. And 
So we got some just heavier, like I think it's from Markers. So you get the gist. So you get this wonderful variety pack. And I put together eight. And I haven't made the listing. I'm I'm guessing these will, well, I'm not guessing. These will go up tomorrow, Friday. Um, so those of you that didn't catch this video until Friday, you have an opportunity um, to pick this up. Now, this won't be, you'll have to buy this and something else to get the 30% discount. But 30% discount, that's no chump change. It adds up. And there's, and I have, I don't know the last time I had this much in my shop. Um, this morning, I started with over 100 items, so there should be something for everybody. Um, and then I'm in the middle of making this fun fabric ribbon with the um, thimbles. And, and then I still have to package. It's all dyed, um, but I have to bundle them all up cute. I've got crinkled ribbon again, which I haven't had this in a long time. So I've got this with the kind of a charcoal-y gray and pretty rose and blue. Um, I've got red, I, I usually have a, a red, black, and white. I think this one was started off cream, so it's still crinkly. I have to make it into little skeins and do all that work. So these will not be up till tomorrow. Um, and then this real pretty kind of tan, and I have two more that are color packs that are drying right now so those will come up this weekend so then we've got this nice neutrals which this is black now this started off as off-white the other one started off as white you can't really tell the difference so once they're dyed um so the big difference you know it's like this instead of having red this has this tan i think i kind of gave you guys a sampling and i'm also planning on listing um old books and all that kind of fun stuff um, whatever I have time to list, I am going to list. I'm going to, I have linens and all of that. I don't know what I'll get to. Um, I have a lot of more demand on my time than I used to when I started my Etsy shop, but I will do the best I can. And just to let you know, um, orders will not start shipping out until Monday. Uh, if you buy, like let's say you bring one order to $35, you got the discount, and then you go back on Saturday and you find the coolest old sheet music book or something and you buy it. I can't guarantee that I can go back and give you the 30% off because usually I have like, you know, over 50 orders to fill. And it's not really set up in an easy way to see it. But if you, if you want to try putting a note out to me, I can't make promises. But if I can, I will give you that discount if and only if it all ships together. Um, but think of it as a pleasant surprise. Don't count on it, I guess is what I'm saying. So I hope you all are having an awesome Thanksgiving. I get to make a turkey today and hopefully it will come out okay. I'm not a pro at making turkeys and uh, I'm hosting everybody and so grateful for my family and I'm so grateful for all, for all of you and thank you so much for your business and your support. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.